Hello and welcome back. So this video is going to be a little bit different. This is going to be my handbag collection video. My channel is mostly makeup and it will stay that way, but I really enjoy watching fashion videos and handbag collections. So I thought it would be fun to do as well. And I did ask people on Instagram and most people actually said yes. So I was surprised about that. So I thought I would do it. Obviously I'm not bragging or anything like that. A lot of people do these videos and I think they are very fun to watch. I will say that you will see two luxury handbags in this video. I will show those at the end and I did buy them used. So if you happen to be interested in that, I will give you some information about that. These are, I know, very expensive items. So getting them used was the only somewhat reasonable way for me to do it. And then at the end, I will also do a what's in my bag, which I love doing. All right, so let's get into the video. The first bag I have is actually this tote that was free. This was a gift with purchase from Ulta recently for buying perfume and I bought perfume for Mother's Day. I didn't give this to my mom though because she will not use a bag that does not zip all the way across. And I gotta say, I really love it. It's a pretty big tote. This is what I'm using now, so I will show you this at the end when I do the what's in my bag portion. Let me show you a few smaller bags. This one I've had for a really long time, and this is a Rebecca Minkoff bag. Remember when these were so popular on YouTube several years ago, but I really like it. I like that you can wear it like this, or you can make the chain longer. Um, yeah, this is a brown leather bag, and it's pretty small. I mean, my phone, like, almost takes up the whole thing. So when I want just a really small bag, I do carry this. And I've had this for six or seven years and it has held up very well. I have used it a lot. It's actually gotten rained on several times. So as you can see, there are a few scuffs back here. I did also have one in black, but I gave that to my sister a while ago because I have another smaller black bag. So yeah. I've had this for a long time and I still really like it. So the other small bag I have is this Michael Kors crossbody. I've had this for also, I think I've had this one for four years. This is bigger, so my phone takes up about this much. So I can definitely keep a lot more in here. I can keep a small umbrella. This one does have like a small pocket here and then another zip pocket here. I really, really like this one. This also has held up really well. I've used it quite a bit. The leather is really soft. A lot of Michael Kors bags have that very hard leather, which I don't really like that as much. I think it's called Safiano, but this much softer leather, I definitely prefer. Okay, some larger bags. I have this Ralph Lauren tote. This is really no nice burgundy color. This shade, I was so excited to find this. People do not talk about Ralph Lauren handbags very much, which is why you can find them on sale. And I personally think the quality on these is much nicer than Michael Kors or a lot of those other intermediate level brands. So I got this on sale. I mean, I think full price these bags are several hundred dollars, like around 300 or 350, but I got this on sale for 100 and something. I've had this one for almost two years and this one has really nice pockets. So it has this little magnetic pocket on the outside. This one does fully zip, which I like. You can carry a lot in this bag and it has these other pockets here as well. I use this bag a lot. This is one of my most used bags and it's still in perfect condition even though I've used it a ton. If you've been on my channel for a while, then you would have seen that I did do a what's in my bag video about one year ago, and it was showing this bag, which is also by Ralph Lauren. It is similar, but it's a bit fatter than the other one. And instead of having the pocket up here, it has a zip pocket here, which is actually really nice for small things. I've used this one for traveling a lot and also for work. It's a bit bigger on the inside, but the size overall is pretty similar to the burgundy one, maybe a bit bigger. I really like that these have good straps for carrying over the shoulder and this fully zips as well and you can fit a lot. I've used this a lot for traveling as my carry-on bag and it works very well for that. This next bag is a Longchamp Le Pliage. This is the medium size 
and this is i think a really nice just like standard everyday use type of bag although i think they are overpriced because they this is nylon you're paying for the name this part is leather but the cool thing about these bags is they actually snap up into a small size you can kind of fold them and snap them like this you can do it much nicer than that but this is the medium size and actually it carries quite a bit i did want the large but it was significantly more expensive. I mean, the medium in this, I think, is $145. I did get it on sale, so I did not pay that much. But yeah, I think this is one of those you're definitely paying for the brand. It is a nylon material, so it's not the nicest thing. As you can see, it's pretty dirty on the inside because it's white. But I do really like this beige color because I think it goes with pretty much everything. So... I do like this and this was a brand that was, I mean, it was already popular, but it became even more popular because Kate Middleton has been seen carrying these Longchamp bags all the time. Not so much anymore, but I think before she got married, she was like really known for wearing Longchamp bags and like knee high leather boots. I don't know. I like her style quite a bit. So I guess it perhaps influenced me to get this. I like it, it's sturdy, and I've carried it a lot. It is getting a little dirty, but you can wash this because it's nylon pretty easily, so that is good, but definitely you're paying for the name, but I do really like it. So now time to talk about my two luxury bags, and then I will do the what's in my bag portion. So I have one Louis Vuitton bag and one Chanel bag. And I bought both of these used on the website Fashion File, which is, I did hear about it through YouTubers. And it's very, I think, legitimate. There are some of these secondhand luxury sites where I have seen some reviews that people did get fake bags. Every review and every video I've seen about Fashion File, this is obviously not sponsored, they don't know who I am, but I have seen people do sponsored videos by them, but it seems very legitimate. I've never seen a single person say that they got a fake bag. So it seems very, very good. So the Louis Vuitton bag I have is this Piano Cabas bag. This bag is discontinued now, and this is definitely an older one. So the interesting thing about these luxury bags is they have little codes on the inside where you can actually figure out what year it was made. And this one was made somewhere around the year 2000. I really, really like this bag. I did actually previously have two Speedy bags that I did sell back to Fashion File. Um, and you can do that, which is really nice about Fashion File. They have used bags, but you can also sell luxury bags to them. And you get a pretty good percentage bag it, back if you keep these bags in quality. So I got back probably selling my two Speedies back I mean, almost 70% of what I paid for them, which you really don't get that with anything but luxury handbags. I mean, I'm not saying you should like invest in luxury bags for financial purposes. I don't really think that's a good idea. But so when this bag was brand new being sold at Louis Vuitton, it was somewhere around $1,500 or so. And I got a really good price on this because it's older. I think I paid around 400, which is still a lot, but I mean, considering that full price, it costs way more. It's in really good shape, obviously. So this whole thing, it gets what they say, patina. It gets dark when you buy these new. This is very light color in the straps. So the reason I sold my Speedies and I bought this instead was because this fits on my shoulder. It is so much more comfortable. The Speedies, I had to carry like this because as you've seen, they have those short little straps on them. It's cute, but it is not practical and it hurts my arm. So I sold mine. I think they're a really cute style, but yeah, it was so not practical for me. I much prefer this. And this has a full zipper across the top. And I have shirts in there because they say to keep your luxury bags with something inside to keep it plump so that it doesn't flatten out when you're not using it. So yes, I have shirts inside my bag. And this does have a zipper here. This is a really, really good size bag. It's smaller than my Ralph Lauren totes, but it does carry quite a bit. And I gotta say, I actually prefer the way the older bags look when they get the darkening of this leather. 
I think it looks nicer than when they do when they are brand new. And this part is, I mean, it's in perfect condition. So yeah, I gotta say, I really, really like this bag. I will just talk a little bit about Fashion File in that you can see very detailed pictures on there of what the bags look like. If there is a scuff on there, it will have a zoomed in picture of where there was a, is a scuff. If the, if the bag smells bad, it will say that a lot of bags that um, people like spilled something in or some of them do smell like cigarette smoke. It will tell you that. If you're willing to get a bag that doesn't smell as good, you can actually get a much cheaper price. Um, there were several I saw that smelled like cigarette smoke, but I really didn't want that. That I think would have been a huge turnoff for me. But you can get some pretty good deals considering what the full prices are of these bags on there. And then you can also sell them back if you want to you know five years later or whatever and they also sell all sorts of other luxury jewelry shoes things like that i i've only purchased handbags there um but yeah i think it's a really good legitimate website and the photos seem very accurate and i like that they zoom in on potential scuffs and whatnot all right time for the mac daddy and that is my chanel handbag so yeah these are so expensive i mean this is expensive even used but full price now, these bags start at around $6,000. It's insanity. I, oh, I, I mean, I feel crazy that I even own this, honestly, but I do love it. I have wanted a Chanel handbag since I was 18 years old and reading Vogue magazine. I'm kind of like obsessed with the life of Coco Chanel. I've seen like all the movies about her and read about her. And anyway, this is a medium flap. And so this bag is actually from 1993. I was in third grade in 1993, but this bag is, it's amazing how well they last. It does have some scuffs in the corners, as you can see, but it's really not bad. I've had this for four years and I have carried it quite a bit and I'm sure whoever owned it before me carried it quite a bit because they had it for quite a long time. So this is a double flap, and I don't even remember if they make the double flap anymore. I think they maybe do, but I think most of the mediums are single flaps. I'm not sure, I used to be up on all of that, but I don't really know anymore. But this has the beautiful burgundy on the inside with the CCs, and then there is a magnetic little, or no, it's not magnetic, but there is a little pocket there, and then again, on the inside, I have a cloth bag in here to keep this plump. And it has two little pockets here. So as far as what you can hold in a medium flap, a small wallet, keys, your cell phone, and then maybe a few other smaller things. But if you have a bulky wallet, it's gonna take up the whole bag. <laughs> so that is something to be aware of if you get something like this but I really like that these straps go really well on the shoulder and I can carry it easily as a shoulder bag. Yeah, I, I really like this. I feel incredibly lucky to have this, but I think that the Chanel prices are absolutely insane, but obviously you're paying for the name. By the way, I didn't say this is lambskin. They sell these flaps in lambskin and what's the other one? I can't remember, but it's more patent. So a lot of people say that the lambskin gets faded or worn down more easily, but I think it looks prettier. The other one is shinier and I don't like that as much. Oh, also there is a pocket. The other thing about these bags, if you get an older one, which is what I wanted, these, the gold on here is real gold plated. They don't do that anymore. They stopped doing that over 10 years ago, I don't remember the exact year, but they do not do that anymore. And how you can tell, by the way, I watched a lot of videos on how to tell if Louis Vuitton and Chanel bags are real before I bought one so that I could tell by the detailed pictures online if there was anything fishy going on. So that is something else I do recommend you do if you're interested in buying something like this used. Check, there are very, very detailed YouTube videos that will tell you specific things to look for to see if it is authentic. 
So how you know if it's a real gold plated one is it has a tiny little stamp right there on the CCs. You see that? So that's how you know that it's a gold plated one. And because this is from 1993, they definitely were still doing that back then. So yeah, that is it. My Chanel medium flap. It's insane, but I love it. All right, so let's do a little what's in my bag. I love watching these. I think it's really fun. This free tote from Ulta is basically just like one giant pocket. There's no small pockets in here. It does have a little clasp closure there, but oh, I love this color. Sadly, I've had it for over a month and it's kind of starting to tear here. What are you gonna do? It was free, so it's not like I can complain, but I do love it. So as far as what I use for a wallet, this was actually in my last What's In My Bag video. This is a little wristlet by Coach and I really like this soft leather. And in here I keep chapstick and credit cards and cash and my driver's license. So if I just wanna go somewhere quick like the grocery store and I don't wanna carry this whole thing, I just take this out and it has everything I need other than my keys and my cell phone. I have some chocolates in my purse because I don't know. I got these for something, Easter or something. It's been a while, I know. I should probably eat them, but they're good and I like to keep chocolate on hand in case I get a craving. iPhone charger, I always have to have this. I have an intense fear that my phone will run out of charge. So I do have a larger wallet, but I don't really use this. This mostly just kind of sits in there. I mean, I have some cards that I don't use as much. I really like this. I don't even know what brand it is. I think this is a vegan leather though. I think I got this for Christmas from my mom. I really like this red color. And yeah, this is super cute and I enjoy it, but it mostly just sits in here unused. Then I have car keys and house keys on there. I have a pen, always gotta have a pen. Then I keep this little pouch where because I don't have any side pockets in this bag. I just keep all sorts of little things in here like tissues, feminine hygiene, a bottle of Excedrin migraine, and that's about it. So I like this for little things so that they're not like floating around and falling everywhere. Then I have a bag of coins. Hmm, not sure, maybe I'll do something with that, who knows. Another pen. I do have a tiny little perfume sample of Ralph Lauren Romance. It's almost empty. I don't know. I do like to have a little perfume in here, but I don't use it a lot, so I just put samples. Some sort of receipt. Another receipt. More tissues. This should actually be in that little pouch with tissues. Garage door opener, very important. So this little thing, I don't know that I should be carrying this around, honestly, but this says, when in doubt, wear red, quoted by Coco Chanel, who you know I love. Um, I've had this for a very long time and I keep like passwords and stuff in this. I don't know that I should be carrying this around, but if like suddenly I wanna pay a random bill and I don't remember my password, I have to have this on hand. Maybe not the safest thing if somebody steals my purse they have access to my whole life, but anyway. It's useful. And then one more pen. This is kind of cool. This is like one of those old school ones with different colors. Oh my gosh, when I was like in elementary, I thought these were the coolest things ever. So anyway, I do have that. All right, so that is it for my what's in my bag and my handbag collection. As you can see, I really don't own that many handbags. I have paid a lot of money for some of them, but they have held up well. I very rarely buy bags anymore. I've been using these same ones for years and years. The newest one I have is this one here that was free, so I wouldn't have bought it, but I figure why not if it's free? Anyway, that is it. Let me know what you think. Have you tried any of these um, used websites? I am curious. That is it. Thanks for watching.